रहे गुरु हम अब गुण भरे एक गुण नाही अमृत शाड बिखे बिख खाही माया मोह परम पह पूले सुत दहारा सिहो प्रीत लगाही एक उत्तम पंथ सुनियो गुरु संगत तेहे मलंत जम त्रास मटाही एक अरदास पाठ कीरत की घर रामदास राखो शरणाही एक अरदास पाठ कीरत की घर रामदास राखो शरणाही वाहे गुरु जी का खालसा वाहे गुरु जी की फतेह सा संगत जी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल अ कपल ऑफ बेनतियां थैंक यू फॉर वाचिंग द स्पेशल शो इन कमेमोरेशन ऑफ द बर्थडे साहिबजादे आई एम रिमेंबरिंग देयर ग्रेट सैक्रिफाइस टुडे एंड द बेनती फ्रॉम द नौजवान फ्रॉम द यूथ वाज इफ वी कुड गो थ्रू द लेक्चर ऑन द हिस्ट्री ऑफ दिस इतिहास First of all apology number 1 that we got the timing wrong from 9 to 10 it was 10 to 11 by sab bhai rana ji had a program booked for 9 10 so we apologize for that secondly my humble request to yourself today's show is going to be different as in a bit is not like normally what I normally do my shows because today there's not going to be no guests there's going to be no audience is going to be myself giving the ithyas of tum kor sahab and this is where i'm going to ask for something i've never asked for on tv and it's that's for your blessings and everyone that's watching my binti at your charan ke please bless me so i can give the right account the right prachar to the sad sangat and my binti also to guru sahab maharaj themselves ke maharaj tisi smrata bakhsho सही प्रचार सही इतिहास संगतान नाल साझा करण वास्ते तुसी मेल पर हाथ रखना एहे मेरी अरदास हैगी आ सो दैट्स हाउ आई वांटेड टू स्टार्ट द शो ऑफ टुडे सा संगत जी माय अदर रिक्वेस्ट टू यू इज गोइंग टू बी दिस आई डू नीड यू टू प्लीज बेयर विद मी एंड आई वांट यू टू सिट डाउन फॉर द नेक्स्ट 45 मिनट्स हाउएवर लॉन्ग द शो इज गोइंग टू बी एंड लिसन टू व्हाट्स बीइंग सेड This is one of the greatest atyas one of the greatest stories you will ever hear and the best thing about this whole kahani is fact it was a reality it was recorded by the hindu musliman sikh of the time that recorded the atyas as it happened what happened i'm a binti from the, like i said from the nojman was to tell you this atyas so with your blessings i will start this program and tell you the artas the atyas the sakki of jamkor sahab the vadde sahabzade baba ajit singh ji ate baba jujjar singh ji the story starts at anandpur sahab takht sri kesgarh sahab maharaj with all their parivar with thousands of sikhs the khalsa forge at anandpur sahab they resting here This is where they stay. This is where the this is where the whole kahani starts from. And two things that I need you to note before I continue with this story is number point number 1 is when Guru Gobind Singh Maharaj in 1699 created the Khalsa Maharaj when they give amrit to the panch pyare once they have given administrated amrit to the panch pyare Maharaj then kneels down on one knee and facing the panch pyare Maharaj begs and does beantiyan at the charan of the panch pyare ke hun tusi amar shaklya mainu vi amar shakan di kripalata karo please bless me so i can take amrit from yourself the panch pyare jinna da modi keh lo spokesman pai daya singh si ਪਾਈ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਨੇ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਨੂੰ ਕਿਹਾ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਅਸੀਂ ਇਸ ਅੰਮ੍ਰਿਤ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਫੋਰ ਥਿਸ ਅੰਮ੍ਰਿਤ ਮਾਈ ਗੁਰੂ ਵੀ ਗੇਵ ਆ ਹੈਡਸ ਵੀ ਗੇਵ ਆ ਸੀਸ 
We gave our everything for this Umrah. What will you give? This was the question posed to Guru Gobind Singh Maharaj, the king of kings, who's kneeling down on one knee and facing the Panj Pyare after they've given Umrah to the Panj Pyare, saying to the Panj Pyare, Minu Umrah the Dada Baksho. And the Panj Pyare are saying to him, We give our head, what are you going to give? And at this point, and this is very important that we know this, Kalgitar Pita, Sri Dismesh Pita, the king of kings, Tan Tan Sri Guru Gobind Singh Maharaj, ne, Eh Bachan Kesige. I will give every single thing I have on this dunya, every single thing that I am attached to on this planet, in this mortal world, belongs to the Khalsa. That was the point I wanted you to note. This is the button in Sola Sola Nirme in 1699 that my Kalgitar Pita. Choji Pitam is given to the Panj Pyare. Ehe Bachan Ajhun Pure Hulagene. In May, a few years later, in May, at Anandapur Saab, which is in May, if you've been to India, it's pretty hot, right? Aurangzeb orders the Subedar of Lahore, Wazir Khan, and the Subedar of Sirhand, Jabardas Khan, Ketusi. Along with the Hindu Hill Raja, you are going to go and attack Sri Guru Gobind Singh Maharaj because Guru Gobind Singh Ji's Maharaj Darbar is getting more and more Sangta are coming there on day to day. The Khalsa army is growing day by day. Aurangzeb, the fanatical Mughal ruler of the time, will became worried that one day Guru Gobind Singh Maharaj will be sitting on his throne. So he orders Wazir Khan and Zabardas Khan and the Hindu Hill Raja that you see Anandapur Saab ja ke Guru Gobind Singh Maharaj naal khal se da naal takra karna. To see you're going to fight, you're going to fight these people and you're going to bring them to me. This was May. What's happened is, because if, if any of you have been lucky enough to be into Sri Keskar Saab, Takht Sri Keskar Saab, you'd know it is on the top of a, a hill. A vantage point. When the Dushman would come to Anandapur Saab, what they would do, they would tack the fort, they would attack it, but every time they attacked, the Singhs gave such a jawab, they wanted to mourn up here. The armies that outnumbered them 10 to 1 would have to go back. They couldn't breach the fort. They didn't know what to do. So their tactics changed after they lost so many soldiers. They thought we've got to change our tactics here. We're losing the armies. How do we capture Guru Gobind Singh Maharaj? How do we capture this Khalsa forge? How do we do this? One of the they thought of this one, one, one uh, tactic. They said, what we'll do is we will cut off every single main route, every single access point to the Kila and out. This is Anandapur Saab, right? So they're going to cut off the surrounded Anandapur Saab. That no one could come in and no one's allowed to go out. So what they thought would happen was, if they cut the supply of food, if they cut the supply of more reinforcement, Khalsa, Nojwan coming to the Anandapur Sahib, they'll be able to defeat Guru Gobind Singh Maharaj and take over the Anandapur Sahib, the Kila. This is what happens next. This goes on, the siege goes on for a few months. But before the siege takes place, I need to reiterate this one point. Tantan Sri Guru Gobind Singh Maharaj looks at the Sikhs at the Kila and Nandapur Sahib and then does a bachan to the Sikhs. And Maharaj also worked in Anakyak Jede Sikh. Those Sikhs that want to leave the Kila now can go. With your families, you can go. I won't hold against you, you can go. Those that want to leave this fort, you can leave now. Because Anwala Sama, because the coming time in the, in, in the next few weeks, few, few months, is going to be extremely important and it's going to be uh, very hard and difficult times. So if you want to leave with your families, does you want to go? And you are not going to believe this, but we, we probably we would believe this because living in this culture, some Sikhs actually left Anandpur Sahib with their families. Not majority, Anandpur 
ਜਿਹੜੇ ਰਹਿਣ ਵਾਲੇ ਸਿੱਖ ਸੀਗੇ after siege went on and on because i've got cut the long story short and i'm going to try to give you the main key key facts as i go through this right so please forgive me if i say anything wrong if i get the history wrong because i'm not a historian i'm not a scholar i'm not a kathavajik i'm no vidwan okay so please forgive me if i say anything incorrect but with the buddhi that i have and the with your blessings i'm going to give the atash to you as i've been told from my elders okay so this is what happens next when the siege is taking place monsoon that i mean on the the heavy rains floods come the armies that were surrounding the killer some of them are washed away their food supplies are washed away their uh, weaponry is washed away body nuksan they face ex- a great expense at the time of the uh, monsoons in uh, uh, near september time sorry what happens is guru kalgi tar pita in the fort have come to the point where they they've come out of uh, they've lost all their food supplies and the two last down the down to the last grain the sikhs at this time are saying to maharaj maharaj i think we need to vacate the killa we need we need to vacate anandpur sahib tan tan sri guru gobind singh maharaj ne us waqt sare sikhan nu beinti kiti ki assi killa nu hasharnani we're not going to leave no matter what we're not going to leave the sikhs fair thande ho gaye this is what happens next the after the heavy losses due to the monsoon they everything getting washed away the forces under zakaria khan sorry wazir khan I apologize wazir khan and zabardast khan and the hindu hill raje decide what we're going to do now we have to change our tactic this is taking too long we this is taking too long and we're losing a lot of supplies a lot of ammo and a lot of uh, soldiers what we'll do is we'll tell guru gobind singh maharaj that if you leave the killa we won't do nothing to them or to the sikhs and what we'll do is we'll swear as a kasam khawange we will swear on the holy quran the muslimon said and the hindu said we will swear on uh, on, on on the holy cow atta on a, they made a model a replica of, of a cow made of atta which they swore on the hindu hill raje okay they said to the guru gobind singh kalgi tar pita ke listen what we'll do is if you vacate the killa we won't we won't do nothing all right they they swore on their faith they swore on what sacred to them they swore on their faith and they the telling guru gobind singh ji that this you can vacate guru gobind singh ji maharaj does not believe a single word that's coming out of their mouth but the sikhs inside thinking no they they swore on their faith they they must be telling the truth let's vacate the killa maharaj after a few vichara then said to the, sent a message back to the uh, uh, wazir khan and zabardast khan ke listen i tell you what to see pata kiya asole in my killa anandpur sahab i've got a lot of wealth I've got a lot of <clears throat> gold, a lot of paisa, a lot of kajana, a lot of material. I need to look after it. So if you can send me four carts, send some carts over so I can make sure that them all, all I can take all my kajana with me. Wazir Khan orders that the four carts be sent. The carts are sent into Anandpur Sahib. Maharaj does not fill the carts with the wealth. Maharaj all the broken pots, <clears throat> all the broken pande, they put them into the the carts and with all the ripped clothes and what they do on top of these carts they put the sone bastar the beautiful clothes on top of it so when the when the carts left anandpur sahib the people the full army outside were looking at these carts and were getting very happy thinking wow we got four cart full of kajana full of wealth let what do we do soon as the carts have come out a few hundred yards from anandpur sahib odoi fojane hamla karke they attacked the carts and took what they want when they took the bastar off when they saw the kajana that was actually broken pots on the asli rang more aage and guru gobind singh maharaj standing anandpur sahib tells his carts of fojan this is what i said to you don't believe them when they swear on the quran when they swear on the holy cow this is why because they they unko dil hai nahi unko dharm hai nahi siga they have no faith they just doing this dan ke on the name of faith so pole pale people those who have faith accept that their their word is true the tactics changes again aurangzeb now is inquiring why haven't you taken guru gobind singh ji why haven't you taken the killa why haven't you vacated him i've sent thousands and thousands of people to you i've sent forces from lahore from sarhand from delhi to you i've got the hindu hill raje with their forces with you why haven't you taken anandpur sahib 
He writes a letter to Guru Gobind Singh Maharaj, swearing on the Quran himself, and says to him, Guru Maharaj, did he advocate the killer? Leave the killer and we won't touch anyone. Guru Gobind Singh Maharaj at this time tells the Sikhs because the Sikhs become impatient after waiting so long. They become tired, they become weak. What they say to Maharaj, okay, listen, Aurangzeb himself is swore on the Quran. He is a fanatical Muslim man. He's not going to go back on his word. Kalgita Pita Maharaj ne Oswal ek eh bachne ke sige. Ke je tusi ho thair jo, haji atk jo. You will, I will give you such a raj, I will give you such a rule, people from all over the world to the Sikhs. Tanu inna raj miluga. Os vak sik, impatient ho ge, dol ge kai, kai ro fikr pae gaya, kai ane kaya ke orang zeb hai, kasam kha raya wa, he ain't gonna go back on his word, he's the emperor of India, he is not gonna go back on his word. Maharaj, at the hukum of the Gurpant, it's very important we note this, Guru Kalgitar Pita, Guru Gobind Singh Maharaj, at the hukum of the Gurpant, listens to what the Khalsa has had to say and then abides. Because Maharaj has created such a Pant that's equal, he's, Maharaj gave him Guru ship to the, gur, to the Pant. And so as, as a, their Bachan, he's, he, he manned it and they left the Killah. The first Sikhs that left the Killah on that day were the first batch that included by Mani Singh Ji, Mata Gujri, the Shote Sahib Zade, Baba Jujal Singh Ji, Mata Sahib Kaur, Mata Sundri Ji. This is the first batch that's leaving the Killa under the leadership of Pai Mani Singh Ji. They've left the Killa and, and the group, the small, small groups, they started to leave. This is what happens in these days in December. You know that in the past two weeks, we've come back on TV, the CQ Project Show has, simply because this Atyas is so Dunga so historic, so beautiful, that we needed to share it with the world. The Norjwan requested that we share this atyas with the world. The whole world needs to know what happened at Anandapur Sahib on these days, and what our Sikh, Sikh heritage is all about. The Kila is being vacated in small batches. Small groups of Sikhs are leaving the Kila. Some of the last Sikhs that left the Kila included Baba Ajit Singh Ji, and Pai Uday Singh Ji. Pai Uday Singh Ji is the son of Shaheed Pai Mani Singh Ji. Okay? As they leave the Kila, they go in, it's heavy, heavy rains, it's a monsoon season, Badi Thand Hagiya, they left the Kila Adi Rat in the, in the, what you call it, in the light of the moon, as the history tells us. They go through, as they walk through the courtyards, they're going through going towards Sirsa, Sarsa Nadi, heavy rain, cold is all around them. They get to Sirsa Nadi and this is what happens. The forces around them, the forces of the Mus Mughal Empire, the Hindu Hilaraje that are around them, they come towards them, they start to attack. They see the Sikhs leave and they start to attack. And if you've known history and geography of Anandapur Sahib, Sarsa Nadi is not too far from the Kila. This is how Atiyash tells us. And obviously different Pacharaks, different historians give it slightly different, okay? And I'm not here to cause no controversy. I'm simply going to tell you how it is. If it fits with your history, fine. If it doesn't, please forgive me, okay? What happens is when they get to Sarsa Nadi, Sarsa Nadi the Kande, at the banks of Sarsa Nadi, the Sikhs are starting to gather and Guru Gobind Singh Maharaj is saying to the Sikhs, Asi tak jana. The whole Jatha, O Sarane Roparta Jana, Je Hamla Hunde Hoye, just Sarsa Nadi Par Karde Hunde, Vishoda Pejwe. If we get separated, please bear in mind that we're all going to meet at Ropar Sab. Okay? At Sarsa Nadi, Amrathavil at that time, Hogya. Sad Sangaji, can you believe this? Guru Gobind Singh Ji Kalgi Tar Pita, along with their mother, their sons, their Mela, their Sikhs, uh, the banks of the river, it's, it's raining heavily, it's cold, the armies are behind them, about to attack on them. And Maharaj is saying to the Sikhs, Amrath Vela Da Sama Ho Gya Va, Asadi Varda Loda, Asadi Varda Sama Va, Asi Asadi Varda Karniya. Maharaj at the banks of the river Sarsa, 
are sitting down within in the congregation of the holy and they recited asadivad the kirtan ethe kirtan kita gaya sikhane asadivad da kirtan kita when the army is attacking them can you believe this and maharaj has given two responsibility to baba ajit singh ji and pai udesh singh ji ke tusi forjan nu samna you your duty is to safeguard the sangat that are going to be joining in in congregation to sing asadivar da kirtan and it is up to you that you must make sure that the army is kept at bay baba ajit singh ji the elder son of guru gobind singh ji with uday singh ji the son of pai mani singh ji asadivar da kirtan hunda wa then guru gobind singh maharaj aap ardas karde ne kalgi tar pita imagine how beautiful this scene must have been the king of kings guru saab them saabs after doing asadi war da kirtan there's cannons falling towards them there's arrows coming towards them and maharaj ardas se jud gaye ne and maharaj leads the ardas them saabs to the sangatan that were there at the time and maharaj do is do the ardas ke maharaj to akal purakh them saabs ke akal purakh you're going to give me the guidance you're going to give the sikhs the guidance to accept your will we will accept your will please give us the samratta please give us the blessings so that we can accept your will my lord this is the ardasa that kalgita pita is doing at the banks at the river sarsa as they go now the time hoi janda as they go to cross the river sarsa unfortunately sa sang ji is waqt sa sang ji guru gul kalgita pita de parivar ch sangatan ch vichhoda pai janda they get separated I want you to imagine the scene. It is raining. It is cold. It's in the middle of the night near enough. They're trying to cross a river a river that's flowing at full capacity. They're trying to cross a river Mata Gujri ji is nal the Chote Saheb Zade anal the Maharaj Mela anal the Sangata anal they're trying to cross this river and Guru Kalgitar Pita watches as Pai Mani Singh ji is leading them across the river. Guru Kalgitar Pita is telling the whole sangat ke listen if you go 2 miles down the stream 3 miles 4 mil tusi sare yani eh chit rakhna asi ropar sab milna sare ikatthe ho ke let's all meet there if we get separated and sa sangat ji unfortunately this is exactly what happened kai sik is waqt they are perished in the river sarsa kai khajana guru kalgitar pita da kai khajana is perished at the river sarsa historical granth othe bhi ithe rod jande ne at the river sarsa a heavy loss is taken upon the sikh panth at this time mata gujri along with the chote sahib zade baba zorawar singh te baba fateh singh out to one side pai mani singh ji with mata sahib ko aur mata sundari ji are on another side guru kalgitar pita along with baba ajit singh ji pai daya singh ji baba jujar singh ji and kush other singhs are on one side kai jatha ethe pahunchda kai jatha utthe pahunchda as they cross the river and they're all separated but they remember the bachan of our kalgi tar pata asi ropar acha ke milna so what they do is they go to uh, because i want to cut the long story short they all go towards uh, ropar right this is one thing this is where pai uday singh the shota sahib zada of pai mani singh the short the, the younger son of pai mani singh ji ethe shaheed hunde ne remember the duty lies na guru kal ke tar pita ne ke baba ji singh nu te pai uday singh nu that you're going to hold the forces at bay while everyone else across the river baba ajit singh ji is along with pai uday singh ji and pai uday singh ji is mo, uh, mortally wounded and pai uday singh ji is telling baba ji singh ji ke baba ji you go I would fight to the last breath. Don't worry about me. Mera ho fikr na karo. My work has come as my Lord has willed it. You go along with Guru Kalgi Tar Pita and the rest of the Khalsa forces. Tu chik jao. Baba Ji Singh Ji, pare man became very sad at this, but listened to the bachan and continued. Pai O Dey Singh Ji, itne inon ne shihdi pai sige at the river Sarsa. I've got a, a long story short because time thoda wa I've only got until about 11 I think to do this whole story. And this is what happens next. Sa Sangh ji kar galgitar pita along with the Khalsa forces reunite at Ropar. 
they go to a few people's houses that give them shastar, that give them uh, kambal, they give them food. Some people even turned Guru Gorkhal Pitar away because they knew that the whole armies were after them. The armies, they know that the army is not far behind. Nalia, the Sikhs continued on their path. They came to a point, Kestali Singh Regane, 40 Singhs are left along with Guru Gobind Singh Maharaj. These 40 Singhs along with Guru Gobind, Guru Gobind Singh Maharaj finally rest at Chamkor Gadi, which we now call Chamkor Saab. Chamkor Gadi is basically, don't think it's a fort. Don't get the misconception that it's a, it's a fort. Chamkor Gadi was a haveli. It was a large house. It was a haveli that had mud walls around it. It was a mud building itself. It's haveli which Guru Gobind Singh Maharaj and the Chali Singh take the last stand. Or what they thought was going to be the last stand. The Mughal forces along with the Hindu Hill Raja, Aurangzeb is sending more troops to the point and more and more armies are coming from Lahore and more from Delhi. He's getting people from all over India to come and finish off Guru Gobind Singh Ji. This is the atas of what happened on this din. We've learned that Maharaj did Ardasa. We learned that Maharaj did part Kirtan Puja at the time that was instructed by Akal Puruk themselves at Amratvila. That you learned that and although the whole armies are chasing them, they're not worried about the armies. Guru Gobind Singh Kalgitar Pita is worried that Hun Amratullah Samahoya Asi part karna, Asavad Asadavada Kirtan karna. They get rested at Chamkur Sab. Now, Allah Yar Khan is a, a historian and a poet from Lahore, according to his atyas and his opinion. Okay, I've got to reiterate that his opinion. He talks about. The Sakka of an, an, uh, at Chamkor Gadi, the night before the final battle. He talks about, and he writes, this is Allah Yar Khan from Lahore. He writes what he thinks is happening in this Gadi at this moment in time. He's looking at the attributes and the characteristics of Guru Gobind Singh Ji, the King of Kings. He's looking at the attributes, the characteristics of the Sikhs that are inside this Gadi, this Haveli. And he writes, that Guru Gobind Singh Maharaj, as he looks at the Haveli, he looks at the Sikhs, they're tired, they need rest, some of them have wounds on them, their kapre are torn, and they're all tired. And Maharaj is looking at them. And Maharaj is saying to him, We're going to fight tomorrow, so please everyone rest. Sikh Guru rest kar den Maharaj, this is according to Allah Yar Khan. He's going around, a Maharaj is kithe kise di the star hilli hoi ya. Maharaj is oh the star bande ne. E unna Allah Yar Khan de opinion ne, a khyal ne. Asi sanje karne ta dinna sangita ne naal. Because I like these khyal. Because this is the characteristic. This is my kalgita pita. Because this is exactly what I think my Guru would do. He will take care of his Sikhs. He's going around looking at the Sikhs. One of the, he's kissing the hands, kissing their forehead. He's attending to their wounds. He's attending to their wounds, he's tending to their kapri, he's tending to their needs. He's going around, kisse da sarana naik thale, onada ser thale. Maharaj is putting their head on their lap. This is the piyar that Guru Gobind Singh Maharaj, the Allah Yar Khan is trying to show you here. The piyar that Guru Gobind Singh Ji had for his Sikhs, for us. This is the piyar that Allah Yar Khan is talking about. He talks about, this, this is Maharaj is going around the Haveli. And at this time, there are two people that have been given Jumewari at the, the stairs of this Haveli. It was Pai Madan Singh and Pai Sangat Singh that are given the Jumewari that you're going to look out, you're going to be look out as soon as you see the army, you see the As soon as you see the Kera, as soon as you see them attacking, you see the Sandasana. Sikhanu. While the rest of the Sikhs are arrested, these two Sikhs are left at the Kela as lookouts. Okay? On Ki Horea. Amritullah Sama Fir Hogya, Guru Kalgitar Pita, Awakens the Khalsa, Amritwal, Amritwala, Nitanem Kita, Panja Banyana Part Kita, Asadi Varda Part Kita, Ethe Part Kita, Haviliake. Before Sirsa Nadi, Maharaj had all the musical instruments. But after, the, after they crossed the Sirsa Nadi, the, the musical instruments were washed away. So when they did Asadi Var at the Tamkor Gadi, 
they, they sung it out loud. And they sung it. They didn't bring it to the church. They sung it because the church was in the church. They sung it because the church was in the church. We are remembering our Lord at the time that was instructed by our Lord. Amrat Vela. So they're doing their part. And this is how Atiyas goes. What happens next? Saad Sangha Ji, after Maharaj has finished Asadivada Kirtan, Ardas Hoiya, the first light starts to hit the ground at Tumkor Gadi. Othe Tusi Apna Hun Man Leke Jana. Please take your minds to this place. Imagine a place, a forested area with a haveli in the middle and das lakh da kera, that's around it. Of over one million forces of containing of Pathans, Mughals, Hindu hill raje, all these different forces that Aurangzeb have got together, mustered together to go and finish Guru Gobind Singh Ji have surrounded this small compound. They're going to take out Guru Gobind Singh Ji in the Khalsa army. This is their itcha, this is their desire that we have come to take and bring, take off the head, the cease of Guru Kalgi Tarpita. This is the orders from Aurangzeb, the ruler, the fanatical Mughal ruler of the time, that we want Guru Gobind Singh Ji cease. Because Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji, the cease, Dili Chalke, Pai Jeta Ji, Pai Jeevan Singh Bane Sige, Dili Chalke, Anandapur Saab Ponchiya. Aurangzeb di hun itcha si ge ke Guru Gobind Singh ji da sis Anandapur saab to Dilli tak challe. This was his itcha. Guru Tegh Bahadur ji, Guru Gobind Singh ji's father, their sis came from, when they saved the Hindu faith, their sis came from Chandri Chonk, it's by Jeevan Singh, he brought it back by Jetta ji at the time, who brought it back to Anandapur saab, and now Aurangzeb wants to take the sis, the head of Guru Gobind Singh ji from Anandapur, and bring it back to Delhi. Eri Aurangzeb de khyal ne. Asto I'll share that with you. The first light is coming to Anandapur Saab. Sorry, Chamkor Gadi. Imagine this scene now. It's daylight. It's, day, it's daylight started. It's daybreak. The forces start to look at the Haveli. They can see it. They can start to make out who's inside, where the things are standing, and they start to go forward. And this has to be said. That the forces, the first general, Nahir Khan, his name is, must have been a Surbi Joda. He must have been a very, uh, what you call it, brave warrior. General Nahir Khan. He's the first to attack the Haveli. He's the first that comes to the, the, the wall, puts up the ladder and then starts to climb it. When he climbs it, look how brave this guy must have been, to go and face to face with Guru Kalgi Tarpita, Guru Gobind Singh Maharaj. And the Khalsa, this guy is coming, along with his, uh, his contingency, he's the first to try to step over the, over the wall. Guru Kalgitar Pita himself, themselves, sorry, take the Akir Tir Kamano, takes the arrow shot and fires it in the chest of Nahir Khan, Jira Othe Marjanda. The second guy who comes, Ghani Khan, if I pronounce it incorrectly, please forgive me. He must have been a brave warrior. Ovi on the... Guru Kalgitar Pita themselves with their Shastar, take their Shastar and smash the head of Ghani Khan. Ghani Khan da sir on Maharaj ne paad ke rakhta. Kulo apni poori rakhta. Kile de kool. The third guy looks at what happens to Nahir Khan and Ghani Khan. Basically, I would say different words here, but he, I'm sure you understand exactly what I was about to say. He runs. He looks at what's happened to his two former comrades. He looks at what happened to some of the bravest soldiers they had, the bravest, best fighters they had in the Mughal army, and they've seen what's happened to them. He puts the body on the floor and then runs back. And this, how do we know this? Because in the Zafar Nama, the Zafar Nama, which is in the Dasam Granth, the Zafar Nama, Guru Kalgitar Pita, then sounds right this Ityas. Ke Ma Maharaj, when he writes to uh, Zafar Nama to Aurangzeb, they're writing a chitti to Aurangzeb and he says, Manu absosa. Listen to this, Guru Kalgi Tarpita at this point says, I'm saddened. Maharaj wasn't sad saddened when they left the Kila. Maharaj wasn't saddened when the Vashoda happened, when they were separated. But Maharaj was saddened when the general that's come to take out the castle of army runs from the battlefield. That's what Maharaj is absosa, Digal. 
Mala then further writes of source on the, in the Zafar Nama to uh, Aurangzeb, Kimin Dudjigal of source in Inna, Ki you've sent over Das Lak for Jah for 40 things. And at this point, Maharaj, you've heard these famous words before, and this is very important that the world knows that it was Guru Gobind Singh Ji Kalgitar Pitaf that said these words first before the United Nations. Maharaj ne kya ke jado sare sulta finish ho jandiya, every single path fails to to reach a negotiation. If all means prevail, fail. Then and only then it is righteous to reach for the sword. When all means fail, it is righteous to reach for the sword. This was Guru Gobind Singh Maharaj writing in the Zafarnama the Aurangzeb a Chamkor Gadi. Ithi Maharaj ne ehe likhi sige. This is the same motto now, Sasanga Ji, look how proud we should be. Look how man sada panna chahida. Judge Look at the so I can't do the soba of Guru Gobind Singh Maharaj. But look at the Kalgitar Pitta because the rest of the world, the so-called modern world, the intelligent world is going by that same thesis at the United Nations. When all other means fail, it is righteous to use arm. Though word in the Faraka, Mena, the message is this, the one that Guru Kalgitar Pitta gave 335 years before they came out with it. This is Guru Kalgitar Pitta. Move, anyway, moving on. These three Sikh, the, sorry, these three Patan, these three Mughals have fled from the scene, two being killed, one fled, the rest run away. Now Guru Kalgitar Pitta looks at the 40 Singhs and then chooses, Kine Palla Jatha Kale Hona. And I've got, I've written this down, so I've got to tell you what, who the first Jatha was. In case I got the names wrong, I thought it's very important that I write this down for you. Palla Jatha that left Chamkor Gadi to go and fight the Mughals and the Hindu hill Raja consisted of three Singhs Pai Tan Singh, Pai Tian Singh and Pai Kazan Singh E Ten Gur Sikhane Chamkor Gadi to Nikolke were in amongst the first batch they've left the, the Gadi and Jakare Sa Singh Ji imagine this ten Lak, das lak da kira. Three Sikhs have gone to fight these, the whole Mughal force. They left the kila and jakare de goonj on the ya, gadito. The Singhs are shutting jakare after jakare. The three Sikhs march, march forward, shooting their tir command at the forces, do, uh, creating a heavy loss for the Mughal army. They then go on to spear combat. Although we in a singer, uh, bade jabardas lade, they fought valiantly. Then it came down to the swords. Odo bhi valiantly lade. Kei dushman ono ne chikate. Singha ne arkri, those three Singhs, after fatigue set in, after the Mughals have surrounded them with a tir command of the shooting them, they got several wounds on all Singh shaheed hun dene. O ten Singh. Okay, this is what happens next. This is how Atyas tells us. You've all heard of the phrase of what Guru Gobind Singh Maharaj says. If I said that wrong, I apologize. But what Maharaj is basically saying in English is, oh, you can only call me Guru Gobind Singh Pita if I am, if I be able to show you one Singh fight Sava Lak, 125,000. If I can show you that, then call me Guru Gobind Singh. And by Mokum Singh Ji, one of the Panj Pyare, this is by Baba Mokum Singh Ji, Baba Mokum Singh Ji listens to what Maharaj said and then says to Guru Kalgitar Pita, Maharaj, let me be the one that fulfill these words for you. Let me go out on my own to face Savalak. Let me face them on my own. Guru Kalgitar Pita Maharaj by Mokum Singh Nal, they walk to the gate to the, the, of the Gadi and then give bakshis and blessings to Pai Mokum Singh Ji and Pai Mokum Singh Ji says to Guru Kalkitar Pita Maharaj, please watch me as I fight to the end. Please watch me how valiantly I fight, how bravely I fight. This was the button of Pai Mokum, Baba Mokum Singh Ji, one of the original Panj Pyare. Baba Mokum Singh Ji was the one that as a result, Maharaj could then say that the, the famous quote that if you, if I, I will fight, one will fight a Savalak 
सवा लाख ना एक लड़ाऊं तायों नाम गुरु गोबिंद सिंह का हाऊं दिस इज़ द दिस इज़ द फ्रेज and we're all uh, familiar with it, but it's important that we know where it came from. It came from Jamkor Gadi. It happened at this time, these days, and it was by Mokam Singh Ji, Baba Mokam Singh Ji, from the original Panj Pyare, that carried out those instructions to the full. And then this is why we could ask Asadi Kalgitar Pitada Na Roshan Hoya. Tika Ji, this is all happening. This is what's happening next. This is what's happening in the killer next. Pai Mokam Singh Ji Shaheed Ho Jande Ne. This is what's happening in the killer. Pai Daya Singh Ji, one of the first, remember the, the Panj Piyara, he was the first Panj Piyara? Pai Daya Singh Ji is talking to Pai Sangat Singh Ji and two other Singhs. They're having a vachara, okay, listen, Maharaj, what we, what we have to do is we have to tr get Maharaj to escape from this killer along with the Vade Sahib Zade. We must make Maharaj leave this killer because if Maharaj is, 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 I think Maharaj is going to be the same way, it's not going to be good. Let's get Maharaj to escape. This is the bachan. This is the uh, conversation that's taking place between Pai Daya Singh Ji and Pai Sangat Singh Ji and two of the Singhs. Pai Sangat Singh Ji says to Pai Daya Singh Ji, go tell Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj that this is the hook. This is what our dasa are. Please res uh, respect them. When Pai, this is important, we know this. When Pai Daya Singh Ji starts to walk towards Guru Kalgitar Pita, what he sees is Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj standing on one side and Baba Ajit Singh Ji standing on the other side. And this is how history tells us. Baba Ajit Singh Ji hath jod ke khade ne ardaas karre ne apne guru de hazuri cha apne guru nu ke Maharaj mir kirpa karo minuvi bakshish karo mein maddan ne jang cha jama. Baba Ajit Singh Ji themselves is saying to Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj so Maharaj, please do me a blessing so I can enter the battlefield. And Saad Sangha Ji, Pai Daya Singh Ji is walking over as this Ardas and Bachan is happening to Guru Gobind Singh Maharaj. And Guru Gobind Singh Maharaj, Muskarape, they became happy. They looked at Baba Ajit Singh Ji and they looked and said, you made, my, you made me proud, my son. Jao. Tiyari karo, chalo. Go. Some historians at this point say the following. That Baba Ajit Singh didn't ask for a glass of water before they went. This is Galt. Baba Ajit Singh Ji, the son of Guru Gobind Singh Ji, the great grandson, the grandson of Guru Teg Bahadur Ji, the great grandson of Guru Har Gobind Padshah, is not one of those people after he sees his Sikhs being killed on the battlefield to say to Guru Sahib, let me have a glass of water first. This is not the characteristic. Eh, Baba Ajit Singh nu thalle ka na chaunde ne, he historian. Jira kende ke paani de glass mangya. Baba Ajit Singh ne, osse vakt ardaas kar dea hi, apni thapi leke Guru Kalgitar pita to odoi madane jang juj dene. And I'm sure the picture will be up now. Baba Ajit Singh ji enters the battlefield. Kodo enter hoye, jakkare andi goonj hogi. The Singhs inside are shutting jakkare. Guru Gobind Singh Maharaj has walked Baba Ji Singh Ji to the gate and watched his son walk out on battle. He is watching his own son go to certain death. And this is one scene that you need to imagine in your head. And this is something that I want you to think, the conversation that took place between uh, Baba Ajit Singh Ji and Guru Gobind Singh Maharaj. And what Baba, Guru Gobind Singh Ji says to Baba Ajit Singh Ji, get you... Madanu Ajit Singh Rakhiyatra Na. And that was after the Battle of Bagani. When Guru Gobind Singh Ji had won that battle, they had come back. And that was when the Janama happened of Baba Ajit Singh Ji. That's why they said, to see Tadana Baba Ajit Singh Rakhiya. He goes, I've named you, <coughs> I've named you Ajit, unconquerable. You are unconquerable. You have to live up to that name. Baba Ajit Singh Ji then said the following. Naam ka ajit hun, jita na jahunga. Naam ka ajit hun, jita na jahunga. Baba Ajit Singh, Guru 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 Singh Maharaj nu kende ke, you've named me ajit, by name I'm unconquerable, I will never be conquerable, my lord. He's saying to him, I will go to Madan e Jung, I kadhi bhi nahi apna pichha karunga. They will not be able to win me. My ajit singha. And then Maharaj, they also went on to say, I apologize if I pronounce this incorrectly. Jita ko khair haar ke na jita aunga. Baba Ajit Singh is saying to Guru Gobind Singh Maharaj, 
जीता तो खैर बेसिकली इफ आई डू नॉट कॉन्क द आर्मी देन आई विल नॉट शो यू माई फेस अ लाइव दिस वॉज द बच्चन ऑफ बाबा अजीत सिंह जी टू गुरु गोबिंद सिंह महाराज दिस इज द कॉन्वर्सेशन ऑफ फादर एंड सन है चमकोर गढ़ी गुरु नॉट दिंग फादर एंड सन गुरु कलगी तार पिता किंग ऑफ किंग साडे गुरु साहब आई हैविंग विद आर एल्ड ब्रदर बाबा अजीत सिंह जी this is the the conversation that you are ajit you unconquerable no one will be able to conquer you and ajit singh ji saying i am ajit i'm no one will be able to take me out but i would if i don't if i don't conquer that army out there but uh, guru sahab i will not show you my face living eh my bachana baba ajit singh ji de baba ajit singh madan ne jang chod aaye they are they have done a heavy nuksan to the mughal forces बाबा साहब बाबा अजीत सिंह ने पहले ही अपने तीर कमान अपने छड़न दाते थे तीर सून इज द तीर व फिनिश्ड पाइस बाबा जी गॉट व्हाट यू कॉल अ स्पेयर एंड देन स्टार्टेड टू फाइट हैंड टू हैंड कॉम्बैट विद अ स्पेयर टेकिंग मेनी सोल्जर्स आउट अंटिल अ पॉइंट व्हेन अ हेवीली आर्मर्ड मुगल सोल्जर इज स्टैंडिंग इन फ्रंट ऑफ बाबा अजीत सिंह जी एंड बाबा अजीत सिंह जी टेक्स द naga naga the spear takes it into the the soldier but at, that, at this point the spear head is caught in the in the, in the uh, armor of the soldier what they all fast janda spear so oh lathi reh gi oh lathi baba ji ek pas rakh ke apni talwar kamano karke oh the battle kita an atyas goes this is history goes this is written by the muslim man the hindus the sikh of the time that tell you that baba ajit singh ji did such a heavy losses and is finally surrounded by the mughals and the hindu hill raje they are firing teer after teer i'm hoping that picture should be on your screens by now look at that picture of baba ajit singh ji chardi kalach this is the son of the great warrior guru gobind singh ji the grandson of the great uh, guru guru tegh bahadur ji the master of swordsmanship the great grandson of guru har gobind padsha and look at the baba ajit singh ji enter the battlefield they are doing a heavy loss to the forces oh they are taking the forces everywhere imagine the scene guru baba ajit singh ji is taking the forces the things that are with him are fighting with baba ajit singh ji baba ajit singh ji taking them out left right and center to the point that you know, baba ajit singh ji was surrounded kar deta the akhri singh that are with baba ajit singh ji are saying to baba ji sada very bade karma wale sige that we have attained martyrdom shahidi along with yourself in your presence with baba ajit singh ji under your command baba ajit singh was at that jatha was the last to become shaheed and as atyas goes over 100 wounds were found on the lash of the pritr body of baba ajit singh ji this was the spirit this was the judge of baba ajit singh ji when he entered that battlefield at tumkur today and this is the shaheed they give and this is what we're commemorating today this is baba ajit singh ji and guru gobind singh kalgitar pita as fired teer at the forces and danjit kare and imagine this scene now khalsa ji sa sang ji i'm hoping that the people are watching this problem sitting with your families i want you to imagine this for a minute or take it off topic for a second just for a second in life one of the hardest thing to do is watch your child go before you for a parent is one of the most difficult things happen guru kalgi tar pita has this watched his elder son be attain martyrdom become shaheed tumkur uh, sahab maharaj afsos nahi karde maharaj khushiyan de jakare chadde sige guru kalgi tar pita khushiyan de jakare chadde sige because the vada that baba ajit singh ji had given to guru kalgi tar pita was that i will not turn my back on the enemy you will not find no wounds on my back i will fight him to the end and this 100 wounds were on pai sahab and this uh, i think I, i apologize if i can't get the correct uh, theos uh, i think there's 36 or 37 some other like uh, arrow shots uh, in pai sahab's uh, chest uh, arms the arms we fatal kitte gayi sige the lattan ch vi onna de teeth lagge sige the left arm ch vi uh, the slashes and baba ji singh kept fighting till the very end that was the passion that was the spirit of baba ji singh ji in a ethe shahidi pai maran ne jakare chhad ke this is the scene inside what happens next in the gadi please imagine this guru kalgitar pita turns to the rest of the sikhs bhai daya singh ji comes over bhai daya singh ji da man par gaya siga at this time bhai daya singh ji you know there's a bit of athru bit of tears came to bhai daya singh ji's eyes when he saw baba ji singh ji attain shahidi 
when they're standing next to Guru Kalgitar Pita, this is what happens next. Baba Jujar Singh Ji, the second elder son of Guru Gobind Singh Maharaj, has come running over to Guru Gobind Singh Maharaj. And this is the button blast. This is the conversation that takes place between Guru Gobind Singh Ji and Baba Jujar Singh Ji. Baba Jujar Singh Ji says to Guru Gobind Singh Maharaj, Maharaj, I want to ask you to ask me that I don't want to ask you to ask me. Please bless me. Please do not turn down my request. This is the first time in my life, Baba Jujar Singh is only 15, this is the first time in my life that I'm going to ask my father for something. And please don't turn me down. Baba Jujar Singh said. Okay, can we call it our pita? I have spent my whole life with Baba Jeet Singh Ji, but I want to ask you this question also. Me, Baba Jeet Singh Ji, I have been in the past, 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 I have been in the Kodo Madane Jang te gay to see Baba Jeet Singh nu kalle kyo pe jya. Baba Jajar Singh Ji is asking their father, why have you discriminated that you didn't let me go with Baba Jeet Singh Ji? But the request that's coming from Baba Jajar Singh Ji is, Guru Sahib Ji, Pita Ji, I want to go where my Vada Pra has gone. Inna piyar siga ek donach. This is the piyar they had, the brotherly love. And sometimes we don't see that in, 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 our, in, our, in, in our community today. Ajakal, we look around, pra, aap, which lord, they're in there. Over what? Pesa. Guru Kalgitar Pita, the whole lost, have just given up their fort, given all their kajana. The princes, the Vardai Sahib Zadeh, have given everything. Everything, have nothing with them. And they're not worried about, oh, lagya, oh, lagya. They're worried about the PR. I would urge my son, Sikhs, brothers and sisters that are listening to this program, please let's take something away from the Sakhi. When Baba Jaja Singh is saying to Guru Gobind Singh Maharaj, I want to go where Baba Ji Singh Ji is gone. They go into the Madanle Jang, but this is what happens. When Guru Kalgitar Pita goes to uh, Baba Jaja Singh, Tusi Jao, uh, Pai Himmat Singh Ji, one of the Panj uh, Pyare, was sent with Pai Jaja Singh Ji. Bhai Himmat Singh Ji was sent with another Jatha. Bhai Baba Jaja Singh Ji, when they get to the, the gate of the Kila, they do the button blast and Maharaj says to him, you are the son of Guru Gobind Singh Ji, the grandson of Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji, who is the master of swordsmanship, the great grandson of the Surbi Joda Guru Har Gobind Pasha. Because this is the ancestry, this is what you come from, this is your blood lineage. This is what you're going to have to show out on the Madane Jung. They are going to know that you are the youngest son of Guru Gobind Singh Ji and they're going to want to take you. They want to, they want, they want to be the, one, the first to kill you. You have to be tiyar par tiyar, par tuzi ronani, tuzi kraya ni karna, tuzi koshm ni karna, je peer bhi lagay, tuzi vahidur atar karna. Baba Ji Jaya Singh says, Maharaj Ji, idhar kinda ni kar kar rahe ho, I will do exactly what my vanda brother does. I will do exactly what my Sikhs have done. Baba Ji Jaya Singh Ji, when the speech, the picture should be up, comes into Madanne Jung at the age of 15 and surrounded by the Mughal forces, they get past Baba Ajit Singh's uh, uh, body. So this is how far they've got into the battlefield. They're killing so many people, Baba Jujar Singh Ji is, as they enter the, the field, they're taking so many people out that they've gone, they've gone past Baba Ajit Singh Ji's uh, ceased, uh, uh, body that's lying on the floor. And they did it, they did it, they did it, Three arrows, as history tells us, hit simultaneously Baba Jaja Singh in the chest here. Us waqt, bichon aake with a spear and a karpan, Baba Jaja Singh jinu shaheed gita janda. Baba Jaja Singh bhi gaye. Ithe shaheed di paai sige. Sadde vadde pravane. Chamkor di gadi chhe. Aaj unna di yaad asi ith bethe haan. Unna di yaad ahi ahi history asi dara rahe haan. Unna di yaad as he koshish kar rahe hain ke singh sangta dekh rahe hain in english that we understand our history we understand what how important these days are for the sikh panth for our heritage that our vadde pra in a edd shahidi paisi edda
Guru Gobind Singh Maharaj didn't cry. Instead, their Kushi and Jakare once again are heard from Chumkor the Gadi. Wazir Khan, Zabardas Khan, the other Hindu Hill Raja are watching this whole scene, cannot believe that the two sons of Guru Gobind Singh Maharaj have just become Shaheed in front of them, but they're doing Kushi and Jakare from inside the Kila. They're thinking that Maharaj doesn't even know whether Shorte Sahib are there. He doesn't know if they're, whether they're live or not. But he's just sent his two sons to battle and uh, he's doing Kushan the Jakare. But this was the characteristic of our Guru. This is the PR, and this is very important we understand this. This was the PR that Guru Gobind Singh Ji showed us. Baba Ji Jai Singh Ji Hidi Baad is rare as the time. Guru Gobind Singh, I've, 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 I've got cut this story quite short because we're running out of time. Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj Rehras Karde Ne, Rehras Karde Ya, Ono Ne Kodo Apna Rehras Karde Ta Ardaas Ki Ti, Os Vakt Maharaj Ne Char Teer, uh, they sent four uh, spears into the, into the army. All four spear, uh, arrows sorry, went to four different generals inside the armies. And each had a message, contained a message for that general. And the message Guru Gobind Singh Maharaj is saying to them, Remember, you swore on the Quran, you swore on the holy cow, that, the atta, that was made, the model that was made, atta. you swore on your sacred bliss and you turned your back on them. And you turned on 40 Sikhs with an army of a million. And what, what Maharaj is saying to these four people, these four generals, he goes, listen, you will burn in the internal fire. You will burn. You will burn. You will burn. What happens next is this. Pai Daya Singh Ji along with Pai Sangha Singh Ji now do a fence again. It's becoming night. It's night full now. They do, they're doing uh, uh, a conversation between the Pai Sangha Singh Ji, Pai Daya Singh Ji, again. And what they're saying to each other is, what we need to do is, we need to get Guru Gobind Singh Kalgitar Pita away from this fort. We have to somehow convince our Guru to leave this Kila. We have to get Guru Gobind Singh Maharaj away from here. Because Maharaj and Pai Daya Singh Ji, in the root of Panj Singh. Remember Gurpant? Panj Singh. These Panj Singh, two of them were Pai Sangha Singh Ji and Pai uh, Daya Singh Ji, Go and do bachan. Alright? A request now, an order to Guru Gobind Singh Maharaj, Kalgitar Pita. The order that they give is, we want you to leave this kila and we want you to go and raise the Sikhs because you, you, you'll be able to raise Sikhs thousands upon thousands again, but we won't be able to do the same thing. This is how valuable, valuable you are to us, Guru Sahib. We need you to go. And you gave us the blessing at 1699 that the Khalsa is equivalent to the Guru Sahib Guru Panj Singh the Roop Hole which Hone Gay Ke Asi Panj Singh Aap Ji Guru Sahib Tare Mure Khade Bachan Bainti Kar Reh Gaya Ke You Leave The Kila This is why Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj left the Kila No other reason This is the King of Kings Maharaj ain't scared of nobody They ain't scared of nothing they, they, if they wanted, they could take the whole army off if they wanted to. The Hukum Asar. But they lived in acceptance of the Lord's will. And oh, Singha then bachan mandya kya thika. But on one condition. Check this out. Guru Gobind Singh Maharaj is saying to the Pan Singh, Alright, fine. You're right in what you said. I will I will leave this kila. But this is what I, I, I want. On one condition, I will leave this kila. When I leave, Asi Jakare Shadke. I'm not going to leave quietly. I'm going to leave so the, the army knows that I am leaving this kila. This is what Mara, uh, Maharaj is saying to the, to the Singhs. By Daya Singh Ji, listening to what Maharaj says, they say, fine. This is what happens next. There's a Singh called Pai San Singh Ji and some say Pai Sangat Singh Ji. There's a difference between the historians and their, uh, the way everyone tells it. I don't want a controversy, so I'm not going to go once again say that. What I will say to you, but for, for argument's sake, today's, in today's lecture, I'm going to go with Pai San Singh Ji. Pai San Singh Ji is dressed in the group of Guru Gobind Singh Ji Kalgitar Pita. 
ਆਂਦਾ ਹੈ ਲੈਫਟ ਵਿਦ ਅ ਫਿਊ ਸਿੰਗਸ ਅਟ ਕਿਲਾ ਕਿ ਤੁਹਾਡੀ ਜ਼ਿੰਮੇਵਾਰੀ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਆਖਰੀ ਤੱਕ ਨਭਾਉਣਾ the force is must believe that guru gobind singh ji that they they finished guru gobind singh ji and because the image of pai san singh ji pai sangh singh ji whichever one you want to call it was uh, close matching to guru gobind singh maharaj they they dressed guru gobind singh ji maharaj in their uh, guru gobind singh ji attire so maharaj then leaves at night maharaj leaves when maharaj leaves tin sikh naal jande ne this is very 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 important because when i when i read this today i, I, I couldn't believe how awesome guru gobind singh maharaj is i don't know how awesome they are but also we know how awesome they are but this is uh, it is just this beautiful just listen to this for a second check this out maharaj has given all the shastar the kalgi the uh, athaya to pai san singh ji and they said that to see aakhri tak ith rehna and then they left the kila right they left they left tali maar ke they clapped and shouted out to the forces ke this is where hind the peer is leaving the peer the fakir of india this is where i'm going from machalya pai daya singh ji says that tin sikh naal le guru gobind singh ji this very important we know this pai daya singh ji is one of them original panj pyara pai man singh ji is one of them <coughs> and pai taram singh ji the second of the panch pyare pai daya singh ji pai taram singh ji pai man singh ji left with guru gobind singh ji it didn't it didn't click to me what i just said there until i read it and read it again until my dad told me go listen did you not understand what you just said because no, i didn't guru kalgi tar pita left chamkor gadi with compassion pai daya singh ji with taram their faith intact and with man by man singh ji in pride guru gobind singh ji maharaj kadon tusi khalsa sajya vi tusi kamal kar ditti kadon tusi kila tusi chhadya si odon vi tusi kamal kar ditti you left with faith you left with compassion and you left with man you left with pride tusi edda kila ve ked kita dar ke nikle tusi you took all these attributes with you This is Guru Gobind Singh Kalgitar Pita. This is what happens next. They've shouted out all three things in different directions have shouted out that um, Maharaj is leaving inside the army forces the Mughals are watching the Mughals are listening the Hindu hill rajay they're watching this and they're, they're getting scared. Okay Maharaj is coming towards them. What they start to do they fight between themselves. This as as history tells us. They start to fight and the history is written by Muslim and Hindus and Sikhs it's not biased. They start to fight between themselves. on all sides it caused uh, bare confusion at this place when maharaj tari tari mari si utte tari sahab gurdwara aaj utte right they've left and this is where they say that he leaves hind the peer right they've left the all this confusion is cased on the mughal army and this is what i want to bring you to and i think it's very important i share this part guru gobind singh ji maharaj is walking through the lachada on the floor with pai daya singh ji pai taram singh ji the pai man singh ji this is what happens next this is very important we know this part of the history when guru kalgi tar pita are walking they go past baba ajit singh ji's large paiya on the side guru gobind singh maharaj walks continues walking pai daya singh ji stops pai daya singh ji had a chadar around him like a kambal and onone fir beinti kiti bis bhai daya singh ji onone de akha ch athru aage na bis they saw baba ji singh ji lash just lying there onone de athru aage they said to guru gobind singh kalgitar pita you every time you sent a arrow out into the forces this is history your arrows contained gold in the tips so the person that that you killed maharaj at least their family could pay for the uh, funeral costs whether it was burial uh, whether it was a burial or whether they were burnt they they paid for the funeral costs this is what guru kalgi tar pita did every single teer a maharaj by daya singh ji saying to guru gobind singh maharaj i see around us lacha lacha paiya ona te tade teer hage ne tade aro hage ne that these gold tips will pay for their lacha pay for their funerals par maharaj baba ajit singh ji de lash kidda hogi 
ਜੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਹੁਕਮ ਕਰੋ ਮੇਰਾ ਜੀ ਕਰਦਾ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਭਾਈ ਦਇਆ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਸੈਂਟ ਗੁਰੂ ਗੋਬਿੰਦ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਪਲੀਜ਼ ਬless ਮੀ ਆਈ ਫੀਲ ਦਾ ਆਈ ਨੀਡ ਟੂ ਪੁਟ ਮਾਈ ਚਾਦ ਕੰਬਲ ਓਵਰ ਦਾ ਕਫਨ ਓਵਰ ਗੁਰੂ ਬਾਬਾ ਜੀ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਲਾਸ਼ ਐਂਡ ਓਵਰ ਬਾਬਾ ਜੀ ਜਾ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਲਾਸ਼ this is what guru gobind singh ji said next this is where we listen to this very carefully please guru gobind singh ji turns round to pai daya singh ji and says pai daya singh ji ek gal karni hai gi ya tusi kya ke tusi mere putr te laash te tusi chadar paunge pai daya singh ji kande han ji kande eh ek le tusi kande baba ajit singh baba ji jaat singh they were my putr from uh, from a family tor to grishti tor to par 16 sol in which in 1699 when the khasa panth was created and tusi amar shak liya odon tusi mere putr ho jande ha you become my son my daughter when you take amrit this is guru kubind singh maharaj saying to his sikhs if you take amrit you become maharaj's son maharaj's daughter and guru gobind singh ji then turns around bob by daya singh ji gets by daya singh ji je tade kol inne kapde leer hagiyan ke tusi sare mere putran de tusi lashan te tusi ban sako you could cover them all then do it if you can't do all of my sins then ek te nahi karna hoga this is the respect this is the love that my guru gave to his people his sikhs to us and now we got to look at ourselves did we give that respect back to kulgitar pita did we give that pyar back to kulgitar pita guru gobind singh maharaj has left their own flesh and blood to one side and considered every single person that takes amrit to be equivalent to that flesh and blood badi vaddi gall hai and this shows us that this is the, this is the pyar that he had for us but now we got to ask ourselves man did we show that pyar back have we showed that love i'm not going to go into negativity so i'm going to leave that question with yourself and i want you to ask yourself that question when you heard that sakhi or what when maharaj has walked past by jo jaat singh ji and by ajit by ajit singh ji's lash baba ji singh ji's lash and they said that these are all my umr these are all my sons and if you got enough chadar for all of them then go ahead otherwise you can't cover the bodies of other sabzade this is guru kal gitar pita saying this moving on because i got i got to wrap up because i'm running out of time i thought i'd share that with you what happens next is pai san singh ji the member of singh that i left in chipko gori we ready we ready we ready, we ready finish in the committee towards the end now pai san singh ji at chamkor gadi ragne was a few things pai san singh ji was the last to become shaheed inside the gadi when the full mughal armies are fully com- uh, attacked the fort taking it completely out with hundreds of them jumping over the walls they took out the singhs finally shahidiyan utte pa gaye ne they take off pai san singh ji's uh, pai sorry pai san singh ji's uh, cease because they think that this is guru gobind singh ji remember they were under strict orders from the fanatical mughal ruler aurangzeb to kill and bring back the cease the head of guru gobind singh ji from anandpur sahib to delhi so they think they've got guru gobind singh ji because they see pai san singh ji in guru gobind singh ji's altar and their kalgi so they think they've got pai uh, guru gobind singh ji they take off pai san singh ji's head and they go through the villages taking it to showing the sikhs the showing the all the villages that we've killed guru gobind singh ji on the baat par lagna sikha ki tusi kinnu maarya guru kal gitar pita tusi kidda maar sakunge right anyway The, the, this is what this is this is the history as it goes and i want to wrap up so the two more things i want to say i'm really finished what happens is they've taken person san singh ji's sees back to delhi or the par lag jana ke he guru gobind singh maharaj nahi ne but at the same time ava kalgitar pita right this is very important what happens at night guru kalgitar pita unar de pairan ch jode vi nahi hage guru kalgitar de pita ji de kale basar pehne hoye ne the uniform the barna the wearing is ripped is torn is dirty guru gobind singh maharaj te hath ch aj koi baaj nahi hega the hawk is na guru gobind singh maharaj de naal aj neela koda nahi hega 
ਗੁਰੂ ਗੋਬਿੰਦ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਨਾਲ ਸੀ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਇੱਥੇ ਕਲਗੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੈਗੀ ਹੁਣ ਗੁਰੂ ਕਲਗੀ ਤਰ ਪਿਤਾ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਮਾਛੀਵਾੜਾ ਜੰਗਲਾਂ ਤੇ ਜਾ ਕੇ ਹਾਲ ਮੀਦਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਤੇ ਪਿਆਰ ਨੂੰ ਕਹਿਣਾ ਇਹ ਸ਼ਬਦ ਉਚਾਰਨ ਉੱਤੇ ਕੀਤੇ ਸੀਗੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਯਾਦ ਮਾਛੀਵਾੜਾ ਜੰਗਲਾਂ ਚ ਇਸ ਇੰਪੋਰਟੈਂਟ ਦੈਟ ਵੀ ਨੋ ਹਾਊ ਮਚ ਸੈਕਰਫਾਈਸ ਗੁਰੂ ਗੁਰ ਗੁਰ ਗੋਬਿੰਦ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਡਿਡ ਫੋਰ ਹਿਸ ਸੀਕਸ ਹੀ ਗੇਵ ਅਪ ਐਵਰੀਥਿੰਗ ਐਂਡ ਰਿਮੈਂਬਰ ਵਨ ਸਟਾਰਟ ਦ ਟੋਕ ਦਿਸ ਪਰਟੀਕੂਲਰ ਲੈਕਚਰ ਆਈ ਡਿਡ ਸੇ ਦੈਟ ਆਮ ਨਾਟ ਅ ਹਿਸਟੋਰੀਅਨ ਆਮ ਨਾਟ ਅ ਸਕੋਲਰ ਆਮ ਨਾਟ ਅ ਲੈਕਚਰਰ ਸੋ ਪਲੀਜ਼ ਫੋਰਗਿਵ ਮੀ ਫੋਰ ਆਲ ਮਾਈ ਸ਼ੋਰਟਕਮਿੰਗਸ ਬਟ ਆਈ ਥੋਟ ਆਈ ਸ਼ੇਅਰ ਥਿਸ ਵਿਦ ਯੂ ਬਿਕਾਜ਼ ਇਟ ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਰਿਕੁਐਸਟ ਫ੍ਰਮ ਦ ਯੂਥ ਦੈਟ ਆਈ ਸ਼ੇਅਰ ਥਿਸ ਹਿਸਟਰੀ ਵਿਦ ਯੂ ਐਂਡ ਆਮ ਟ੍ਰਾਈਂਗ ਟੂ ਸ਼ੋ ਯੂ ਦ ਲਵ ਦ ਕੰਪੈਸ਼ਨ ਦੈਟ ਮਾਈ ਗੁਰੂ ਆਵਰ ਗੁਰੂ ਹੈਡ ਫੋਰ ਅਸ ਹੀ ਕਨਸਿਡਰਡ ਅਸ ਹਿਸ ਸੰਸ ਐਂਡ ਮਾਰਾਜ ਹੈਜ਼ ਗਿਵਨ ਐਵਰੀਥਿੰਗ ਅਪ ਬਿਕਾਜ਼ ਮੈਂ ਮਸਟ ਨਾਟ ਟੋਕ ਆ ਸੈਟ ਯੂ ਦੈਟ ਵਨ ਗੁਰੂ ਗੋਬਿੰਦ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਟੋਕ ਅਮਰਤ ਦ ਸੀਕਸ ਅਸ ਦ ਸਪੰਜ ਪਿਆਰ ਅਸਟਮ ਸੋ ਵਾਟ ਆਰ ਯੂ ਗਿਨ ਗਿਵ ਮਾਰਜ ਨੇ ਕਿਹਾ ਸੀ ਮੈਂ ਸਰਬੰਸ ਵਾਰੂਗਾ ਅੱਜ ਉਹ ਹੁਕਮ ਪੂਰੇ ਹੋ ਰਹੇ ਨੇ ਇਨ ਥੀਸ ਡੇਸ ਥੈਟਸ ਵਾਟ ਵੀ ਕਮੈਮੋਰੇਟ ਇਨ ਦਾ ਸ਼ਹੀਦੀ ਟੁਡੇ ਵਨ ਲਾਸਟ ਸਟੋਰੀ ਆਈ ਵਾਂਟ ਟੂ ਫਿਨਿਸ਼ ਆਫ ਵਿਦ ਇਨ ਇਨ ਥਿਸ ਇਨ ਕੰਜੰਕਸ਼ਨ ਵਿਦ ਥਿਸ ਪਰਟਿਕੂਲਰ ਹਿਸਟੋਰੀਕਲ ਡੇ ਇਸ ਥਿਸ ਵਨ ਥਿਸ ਇਸ ਸੋ ਇੰਪੋਰਟੈਂਟ ਵੀ ਨੋ ਥਿਸ ਸੋ ਇੰਪੋਰਟੈਂਟ ਬਿਕਾਜ਼ ਥਿਸ ਇਸ ਅ ਗ੍ਰੇਟ ਇਨਸਪੀਰੇਸ਼ਨ ਟੂ ਐਵਰੀ ਸਿੰਗਲ ਬੀਬੀ ਐਵਰੀ ਸਿੰਗਲ ਵੂਮਨ ਥੈਟਸ ਵਾਚਿੰਗ ਥਿਸ ਸ਼ੋਅ ਰਾਈਟ ਨਾਓ ਥਿਸ ਇਸ ਅ ਇਨਸਪੀਰੇਸ਼ਨ ਫੋਰ ਯੂ ਐਂਡ ਆਈ ਐਮ ਵਾਂਟ ਟੂ ਟਾਕ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਇਸ ਦ ਫੋਲੋਇੰਗ ਬੀਬੀ ਸ਼ਰਨ ਕੋਰ ਨਾ ਹਰ ਸ਼ਰਨ ਬੀਬੀ ਸ਼ਰਨ ਕੋਰ ਬੀਬੀ ਹਰ ਸ਼ਰਨ ਕੋਰ ਵਾਸ ਇਨ ਸਰਦਾਰ ਹਰੀ ਸਿੰਘ ਨਲਵਾਸ ਟਾਈਮ ਬੀਬੀ ਸ਼ਰਨ ਕੋਰ ਵਾਸ ਧਰਮ ਪਤਨੀ ਆਫ ਪਾਈ ਪ੍ਰੀਤਮ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਹੂ ਇਜ਼ ਵਨ ਆਫ ਦ ਸਿੰਗਸ ਥੈਟ ਵਰ ਇਨ ਚਮ ਕੋਰ ਗੋਰ ਐਟ ਕਿਵ ਸ਼ਹੀਦੀ ਥੈਟ ਡੇ ਹੈ ਥੈਟਸ ਬੀਬੀ ਸ਼ਰਨ ਕੋਰ ਬੀਬੀ ਸ਼ਰਨ ਕੋਰ ਨੇ ਥਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਵਾਟ ਹੈਪਨਸ ਸ਼ੀ ਹੈਜ਼ ਗੋਟ ਅ ਟੋਰਚ ਇਨ ਵਨ ਹੈਂਡ ਸ਼ੀ ਗੋਸ ਇਨ ਟੂ ਦ ਮਦਾਨੇ ਜੰਗ ਵਿਚ ਨੋ ਦ ਬੈਟਲਸ ਹੈਪਨਿੰਗ ਥੇਰ ਇਨ ਦ ਮਿਡਲ ਆਫ ਨਾਈਟ as the mughal armies are celebrating that they killed guru gobind singh ji they she takes a tour uh, sorry uh, a, a light and she goes through and looks at every single uh, soldier's face every single sikh that she recognizes on the roof to on the bayan to she drags them takes them to a point where she's gathering wood and then sets sare singhane the vade sahib zade de ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਦ ਆਤਮ ਸੰਸਕਾਰ ਕੀਤਾ ਗਿਆ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਇੱਥੇ ਆਤਮ ਸੰਸਕਾਰ ਕੀਤਾ ਸੀਗਾ ਇੱਥੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਕਰਕੇ ਆਤਮ ਸੰਸਕਾਰ ਕਰਕੇ ਉਸ ਬੀਬੀ ਨੇ ਇਸ ਵੈਰੀ ਇੰਪੋਰਟੈਂਟ ਵੀ ਨੋ ਥਿਸ ਉਸ ਬੀਬੀ ਨੇ ਨਿਤਨੇਮ ਕੀਤਾ ਅਮਰ ਤੁਲਾ ਦਾ ਟਾਈਮ ਹੋ ਗਿਆ ਸੀਗਾ ਤੇ ਕੀਰਤਨ ਸੋਲੇ ਦਾ ਰਹਿਰਾਸ ਤੇ ਕੀਰਤਨ ਸੋਲੇ ਵੀ ਕੀਤਾ ਸੀਗਾ ਬਟ ਵਾਟ ਹੈਪਨਸ ਵੈਨ ਸ਼ੀ ਸੈਟ ਦ ਫਿਊਨਰਲ ਫਾਰ ਅ ਲਾਈਟ ਦ ਮੂਗਲਸ ਸੀ ਦ ਸਮੋਕ ਐਂਡ ਦ ਫਾਇਰ ਕਮਿੰਗ ਦੇ ਆਰ ਵੰਡਰਿੰਗ ਵਾਟਸ ਹੈਪਨਡ ਹੀਅਰ so the mughals rush contingencies of a small contingent is sent to investigate what's happening what they find is they find all the singali lacha ek ikatthe uh, karke in a funeral pyre that being burnt and what they find is a bb a young woman that's standing next to the funeral pyre reading kirtan sohla what they ask her to kona this is bb hasan ko 60 years age she is they ask bb sharan ko to ask her to kona she's not replying she's doing a part they the threatener she not intimidated she do not part they swear at her they try to uh, grab her she not intimidated she not she's scared she do not part what they do to this girl bibi shan sorry this young woman bibi shan kor they pick her up and they throw her while she's alive into the burning fire this was the sacrifice of the 40 sings the vadde sahib zade and bibi shan kor on aaj da din this is why we commemorated it this is why we sat down today and we went through the tiyas sasang ji i know i think i've probably gone over time i ha
and the shahidiyah they did inspired you to change your life and come closer to my Guru, Guru Gobind Singh Maharaj. You learned today that when you take Amrit, when you take Amrit, you become the son and daughter of Kal Guru Kalgi Tarpita, Guru Gobind Singh Maharaj. If I've said anything wrong, I apologize. If there's a text number on the, on the screen and you'd like to give us your comments, please let us know. I want to do one more program uh, on the 26th to commemorate the Shorte Sahib I want to do a, f a familiar program like what we did today, the full Atiyas. Uh, we hope to get a better Pachar to myself on that day, obviously. I, there's hundreds and thousands of Sikhs in this country that I can probably think of that are much more better Pacharis than me. But unfortunately, you have to put with myself today. I apologize. But uh, if I said anything wrong, I apologize. If the text number is on the screen, please give us your comments to improve the show and your khyal. And uh, we'll share them on Sunday show. And uh, on Monday night, we will do a special event again of the Shorte Sahib Zade. And I'm hoping that we can get Sangata in the studios for that. So my humble binti is, if you would like to be in the studio for that day for the Sangata, because it's much easier talking to Sangata when they sit in front of you, uh, because you can gauge in the direction. When, you, when you're looking at a camera, unfortunately, you, you don't know what's happening out there. I'm sorry. So I don't know if I've been able to do the justice. The, the history and justice today. If I haven't, please forgive me. And that the Bobo Tanwad show watching that Bobo Tanwad Sangat TV da that gave us the mocha for the youth to actually give a platform to share their views in English, so the Nojwan of this country can share their history. And Guru Kalgitar Pita da Shukrana Karda Hoya. Tadi Vaste Maafi Mangda. Je koi galti hogi hoya, but tada Bobo Tanwad watching. And please join us again on Sunday night. If I said anything wrong, please forgive me. Wahiguru Ji ka Khalsa. Vaheguru Ji ki Fateh.